Today's guest is a one-of-a-kind gospel singer. He's a songwriter, pianist, arranger, record producer, and a pastor. He's best known for performing progressive gospel and contemporary styles of music. He's got a lot of new things happening. He's going to tell us all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Dietrich Haddon. Thank you, Yolanda. Hello, how you doing? You are awesome. Thank you. Your spirit is awesome. I Th love it. Thank I you. I love it. I appreciate That's genuine. it. I try to be. Tell me, welcome to DFW, by the way, and how long have you been in the gospel industry? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you were talking about you were in the choir all your life. Yes. I started directing my church choir when I was 13 years old. Wow. I, I was responsible for 70 voices, mm -hmm. the 70 voice mass choir, but I started there, then I started making records when I was 16. Really? And I'm not ashamed of my age. I don't know why people don't like to talk about their age. I'm 51 <laughs> now. Oh, okay, I'll so, let you tell your age. Okay. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm proud. That means I've lived. Yeah. Yes. Been through it, you know, mm -hmm. been there, done that, and, and you're seasoned. So we, you're not we, I know. We say we're seasoned here, right here. Wisdom. That's what you You got. know, we like wisdom. Mm -hmm. Your new song, Never Be the Same, is currently yes. at number 20 on the Billboard charts. I will never be the same. Oh, my goodness. So what inspired you to write this song? Well, you know, I, I just think on the journey, uh, sometimes on the journey you have to realign yourself up, you know, yes. with your purpose and your assignment. Because just like driving a car, you hit some bumps, it, things will get out of the line. Mm -hmm. And I, I think if you look in the mirror at yourself and say, I don't like what I'm seeing, mm -hmm. you have the power to change it. It's in your hands to change it. Yeah. So that's my declaration. I will never be the same. You just performed at the 39th Annual Stellar Awards. Yes, How was your experience was awesome. on performing on a prestigious stage like that? The Stellar Awards is like the Grammys of gospel music. So in that weekend, you're able to see all of your peers that's in the gospel music industry. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy to sing in front of all these great singers. No, it's not. <laughs> I would be so intimidated. I mean, they could sing. Everybody could sing. Right, you know? everybody. Uh, but it, it was an honor. And they gave me just two days. They called me two days before the show. Can you wow. That? Yeah, I do believe that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I do. Because it was something going on with the flights uh, that week. Mm -hmm. where Delta had this big glitch situation. Right. So they called me and I, I went and did it. Uh, luckily, I was on tour for 30 mm -hmm. cities. So I just did what I did on tour on the show and people loved it. Okay, yeah. so you just performed at the State Fair, Texas, and yes. you put together this yes. huge mass choir from people all over DFW. Tell me, how did that collaboration happen? First of all, that was incredible. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Al Wash and AL W Entertainment who mm -hmm. asked me to do it. He's right. one of the biggest uh, concert promoters in the world. Yes, He's he been is. promoting the State Fair Classic for 40 years. Yes, he has. Mr. Al Wash. Mm -hmm. When I got the call, I was like, man, you know I'm there, man. <laughs> he said, man, I want to do a 200 plus voice choir. Can you pull that together? Wow. I said, I'm going to pull it together and we're going to do our own rendition of the national anthem. And we did it. Yes. And the choir was incredible. And now we're talking about keeping the choir going. You should. Calling it the State Fair Classic Mass Choir. And we're going to record an album. Wow. It's going to be a Okay, nice I want to be a part of that. I'm just putting my little two cents in right now. <laughs> you so got to. You, you got just to. started your own new church, right? Well, my church is eight years old now. Okay. Uh, but we finally got our own building. That's what it is. Okay. Yes, yes we got our own building. So I've been the doing The building that. fund. Why do we always make Come on. jokes about the building fund? We need you to fund. give to the building, building fund. <laughs> I need $100, <laughs> $50, whatever you get, $5. It's all going to add up. And it added up. It added up. If somebody wants to keep up with you and wherever you are in the United States, States or in the world, how can they find you online and on social media? I'm right there. I got the blue check. If there's no blue check, it's not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. It's a blue check on Instagram, D Hattie, D H A D D Y. Blue check on Facebook, Dietrich Haddon. Uh, on X used to be uh, Twitter, right. uh, Dietrich Haddon. I'm right there. It's all blue checks. If it's, there's no it. blue check, it is not I. It is not I. <laughs> I love it. Well, Dietrich, thank you for stopping by. Lonnie, and you you're know, awesome. Thank you very much. And you know what? Well, you guys, we're going to everything uh, Dietrich's information on our website at CW33.com.